Have you ever wondered just how many shiny Pokemon you could find in 24 hours? Well, luckily for you, I'm about to spend 24 hours shiny hunting in the Indigo Disc DLC, so you don't have to. During these 24 hours, we're going to use new shiny hunting methods, hunt brand new shinies, including some shiny starter Pokemon, and by the end, we will see just how many shiny Pokemon I can find. My personal goal is to fill up an entire box. Getting straight into things, the Indigo Disc introduced Synchro Mode, which allows you to become your Pokemon. So I thought this would be a super easy way to take out 60 Pokemon in an outbreak to find a shiny. But while taking out a Dodrio outbreak... Oh, oh, yo, shiny Dodrio, yes. Okay, don't wanna get too close to it. I've not done this before. This is my first time using the Synchro machine. I hope it stays there. So there's the Cypher I saw. I don't know if it, has it just ran off? <laughs> I swear if it's just ran off. It was around here somewhere. Oh man, don't tell me it just runs off like that. That was so fast. Oh man, I can't believe the first shiny of the video. <laughs> it's a fail. This is so embarrassing because this is actually my first shiny of 2024 and I've failed it. I didn't even realize that until just now, but ah oh well, it's time to try this outbreak the old fashioned way. Oh, there it is. I've just defeated the 60. All right, I got very lucky. Synchro mode is, I feel like synchro mode I can find a shiny. I feel like as long as it's not a crazy outbreak like Dodrio, because Dodrio's just run away, they're like cyclers are. They just run out of the zone. There we go. Shiny Dodrio. Not a bad for shiny. Ah, oh, a mark for a grumpy Pokemon. As if the first one is marked, that's sick. The shiny Dodrio was named JMC, after myself, Michael, and Cole. That's what we call our little gaming group. Picture us like a manly cool Powerpuff Girls group, except we're not manly or cool. Moving on, I decided if the Synchro mode isn't going to work as a new shiny hunting method, then I'll use a much more reliable new method. In the Blueberry Kitchen, you can find the Academy Special. This boosts the shiny odds of every single Pokemon, making my odds 1 in 1024 with the shiny charm. Now I can just shut off my brain and wander around the terrarium until something and shines, but I think I turned my brain off just a little bit too much. Oh, that's a shiny Electabuzz. Yes, dude, with the new sandwich. Wait, I, right, I, I actually despise the lighting in this game. That Electabuzz looked totally different two seconds ago. I am, <laughs> no, dude, that's so embarrassing. Wait. No, you looked orange a second ago. One of you step into the light before I send you into the light. Look at that. Look at that difference between that Electabuzz and that one back there. Tell me that one doesn't look shiny in the distance. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so mad. Game Freak, fix your lighting, man. Honestly, I don't think I'm to blame here. Look at the difference between these two Electabuzz. They are totally different. Anyway, it was time for me to find an actual shiny using the Academy Special. <clears throat> is that shiny? Yeah, come towards me. <laughs> it is! <laughs> As if the shiny ran straight towards me, there's no way. Alright, that is a shiny found with the any type shiny sandwich, so that's good to know that it actually works. There we go. Nice shiny Fletchinder, and I love shiny Talon Flame. Are you kidding me? I named the Fletchinder Fireboard. With some more time left on the Academy Special, I moved on to the Polar Biome, and to my surprise, oh, yo, shiny Minchino! Yes, I'm still on the same sandwich. <clears throat> I'm still on that level one all type shiny sandwich. Minchino is such a cool shiny to get. Let's go, Minchino! Oh my god. I remember the last, oh my god, the last time I hunted Minchino was in Pokemon X and Y, and I was hatching it. And I remember I never got it because one of my friends asked for an egg so they could start their own shiny hunt, and the one egg I sent them was shiny. And I, just, <laughs> I gave up on shiny Minchino. So I've literally not hunted this thing since Gen 6. That's wild. After the Academy Special ran out, I decided to hunt a shiny that will prove to be harder than most, Shiny Mini R. You see, there are seven different colors of Mini R, and eight if you include the shiny version, but you cannot see which color a Mini R is until you get it to half HP. So the best way for us to hunt this right now is to make a rock sandwich and defeat as many Mini R with auto battle as possible until the shiny reveals itself. Oh, it's not attacking this one. Did we find it? Hey, there we go. Shiny Miniar. 
All right, let's capture this. Oh, I know it's double edge. Okay, I'm so glad I'm not using anything like false life or anything. Um, oh God, that's kind of scary that it knows that. Okay, how much damage is it doing to itself? Oh, it's not, it's barely doing anything. Oh my God, there's no way, dude. I, f I think I failed more shinies in this than I, oh my, are you? It knows explosion. Why didn't I just look it up? I wanted to surprise myself by... First of all, I didn't even get to see it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, dude. Uh, as if it just knows explosion. What? Oh, no. Yeah, I, I should have probably looked up... When, it's, when I saw Double Edge, I should have checked if it had anything else. Look, right, I've never even used a mini R before, never mind shiny hunt it. I had no idea it would be this difficult to capture. All right, shake it off, let's do this again. You found it, Carl, yes. Right, we have Carl. Everything's all good with the world. Let's try a quick ball. Oh my God, okay, I'm glad that didn't take as long as the first one took. Oh, it's so frustrating. All right, no power gem. As long as I keep Carl alive, we're good. I've got one left. There we go, explosion. But with Carl, we're good to go. It's just that double edge I've got to be careful of. Oh my God, that just did so much damage to itself. Look at how nice that looks. We finally get to see it as well. Oh, uh, another double edge, it dies. So, run? I couldn't get away, are you kidding me? Oh my god, oh my god, it's go Carl again. I get another chance to run here. Bro, this is the hardest shiny I've ever had to capture in my life, what is going on? Okay, I got away. What? I'm done, I'm done with mini -R. I'm done with mini -R. are you kidding me? I ran away from a green one earlier on and I could still encounter it. I'm like half sure. I'll have to double check that. Are you frigging? I'm so done with Mini R. I've wasted two sandwiches on it now. Yeah, so my dumbass thought I could just leave the battle and re encounter it just like any other Pokemon in this game. But I'm guessing once its ability shields down happens, that's impossible. So it's time to take a break from Mini R because I can't take another shiny fail right now. Oh, there it is. No! I, dude. I, is this 24 hours of failing shiny Pokemon? Is this seriously what's gonna happen? I've just made the sandwich. Oh, dude, I'm so, <laughs> so done. Are you kidding me? This, this, I may as well just call it 24 hours of failing shiny Pokemon because that's all it's been so far. Oh my god, I've, I've, with that, I think I have failed more than I've caught. Shiny hunting is my full-time job, by the way. I just want to put that out there. There it is. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so lucky. I am so lucky. I was just telling Cole what happened. I'm like, dude, <laughs> found it again. I can't wait to message him in a second. And then I've failed it already. Quick ball on it. I'm so sick of failing shinies. Please just capture. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> oh my god. All right. That took no time at all. I think that counts for one of my... PP challenges I was doing as well. Yeah, it does. Because I want to get one of the uh, shiny starters. That'd be cool. Oh, what do I call Scizor? I'll ask Cole. Give me a nickname. Minior, since you apparently can't catch one. I actually hate him. I Oh my god. <laughs> I actually hate him so friggin' much. That's so dumb. Oh my god. I'm going back for it. At some point in these 21 hours that are left, I will go back for it. I just found like two scissors in like a minute, by the way. This place is ridiculous. After finally capturing a shiny for once in my life, it felt like my brain had turned back on. I came across an Alolan Grimer outbreak and started to hunt it. And while I was hunting it, I kept noticing something weird. What was that? What? Am I going crazy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that bit in. Did anyone see the sparkles just then? I don't know what that was. 
That's really throwing me off because I was like looking for these Grimers. It looked like a ring of shiny sparkles. Did I just find a secret in the DLC similar to how people discovered Meloetta? I kept my attention on the area for a bit longer. Just there again. What? What am I seeing? Look, the sparkles up. What is that? What? Is there something under- where? Is it a Pokemon in here? <laughs> I thought I'd found like the biggest mystery discovery of friggin' Blueberry Academy for a second. I was like, yo, is this a thing no one's seen before? It's just a friggin' Terra Pokemon underneath the ground. Oh, I thought that was gonna be so cool, man. Oh, I can't catch a break today. Can't catch any shinies either, apparently. Anyway, here's shiny Alolan and Grimer. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. That is different. It's so, like, green and stuff around here, that one being under the tree really threw me off. But there is an Alolan shiny Grimer. That was a fun little light break today. We had the whole sparkle mystery as well. I can't... I am so glad it was just, like, an Alola muck underneath, like, being terrored. I wish it was something, because obviously there's the Meloetta in one of the areas. It would have been so cool if there was something else that no one had found, and I just happened to come across it. <laughs> All right. Well, while I was doing that, I also collected 3,000 BP. And I've not done any of the starters yet, so I think it's time that we do a starter hunt. Once you have 3,000 BP, you are able to unlock starter Pokemon in a specific biome. Now, there's only one shiny Pokemon I want during these 24 hours, and that's Shiny Squirtle, which appears in the Canyon biome. So after buying the BP, I found a small pond area where a couple of Squirtles spawn, and spent some time picnic resetting. After some research in there, I found that Squirtle is one of the rarer shinies to find, as it doesn't have a ton of spawns unless there's an outbreak. So I'll go looking for an outbreak later on. And for now, let's shiny hunt some starter Pokemon. After my terrible luck so far, I was not prepared for this next shiny Pokemon. <gasps> Yo! Oh my god, that caught me by surprise. Probably the nicest shiny starter Pokemon in existence. Trico's great. Look at it. Oh my god, that looks so nice, dude. That looks so nice. I'm so glad I had to give up on Squirtle for now. Because it has no good, like, isolation spots. So you only get, like, one or two spawns in there. Because it spawns in there a lot with loads of water spawns. But look at this little green boy. There we go. I'll take that. A shiny tree club. I would say Gem 3 probably has the best set of shiny starters, in my opinion. Oh, it's marked. You are kidding me. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. I just got a rare mark shiny Trico. No way. What? Bro. Are you... I need to save right now. <laughs> I need to save right now. Are you kidding me? I've only ever had one other shiny Pokemon. Let's have the rare mark. And that was Bombardier during one of the shiny races. What? Out of everything it could have, there's no way, dude. Tree called the recluse. Oh, that's sick. That is sick. No way. <laughs> Did the Grimer have anything in it? Oh, it had an uncommon mark as well. Have I checked the rest? So I've had three marked shinies during this already. That's wild. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's so good. A rare mark shiny Pokemon. How crazy is that? I'd love to know if any of you guys have a rare mark shiny Pokemon. With that, I was hooked on shiny starter Pokemon. So I found a great spot for Tepig and began to hunt it. Oh, 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 there we go. Shiny fire pig. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, love little shiny Tepig. It's so clean, dude. I should go to try this one on a quick ball. I feel like if this attacks Trico, he's so dead. I still need to name him. Raw, you little bitch. No! Bro, I'm actually... <laughs> I'm, I'm actually so done with this DLC. Are you kidding me? I thought it normally just brings in a different Pokemon. I didn't realise it just disappeared. Did they change something in this DLC? Uh, that's... Right. 
Hang on, I need to check my notes. I've, I've failed five shinies. How, how have I failed five shinies? What? It has raw? Oh my god. Can you stop raw? How do you stop raw? Is it because I had treacle out? I just wanted to show it off. Are you kidding? I'm putting Brooklyn out. I want to see it raw Brooklyn away. This is Brooklyn if you don't know who Brooklyn is. There's no way it's raw in a way this. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. So after losing the shiny pig to Raw, I went back to Kitakami to collect a Kamoa with the ability Soundproof, so it wouldn't happen again. Then I returned to shiny hunt another pig. But I was sprinting and it appeared. So, oh! <laughs> right. <laughs> another shiny tapping. I, I just went and caught this Kamoa and like leveled it up. So it cannot raw me. If something else happens, I'm so done with this pig. Wait, what else did I fail? The scissor failed because it it blips in for a second then blips away. Yeah. That's why I went and got this. So I can't use it anymore. There we go. Oh my god, if I failed another shiny, I would have been so done. I've still got 18 hours to go. After capturing the shiny Tepig, I carried on with the fire starters and went for a clean shiny K. Oh, there it is! Yes! Oh my god, I gotta try and get to it if I just aim at the right one. I think that's it. Boom! One of the nicest shiny starters. Shiny Litten, let's go, look at that. I was kind of scared because you can see on top of the grass, it's kind of like white. And after a while, they all started to look white. There we go. I'll take it. It was not capturing that premiere ball. But it luckily just went nighttime, so we put it in a disc ball. Oh man, these stars are so much harder to capture than I thought they'd be. Not because of the like harder catch rate and them being starter Pokemon, just because of the moves that they got. They've actually got some insane moves. I named the shiny Litten after my own cat Milo, and then nicknamed some of the other shinies that we found so far. And with some time left on the current sandwich, I found a cave with a bunch of fire Pokemon. Oh, shiny Magma! Yes! Oh my god, this is such a sick area for it. That spawns so fast, I didn't think I'd get one on the same sandwich as the Litten. Oh, def will put this in a dust ball, should capture it very easily. Shiny Magma looks sick. Yeah, I think I had less than 10 minutes on this sandwich, but boom, there it is. We got a Shiny Magma in the same sandwich. I'm glad it was the Magma, not the Magby, because I really like Shiny Magma. Now that my collection of Shiny Starter Pokemon was growing, I wanted more. I came across this awesome spot for Turtwig, and after some time... Oh, there it is. Shiny Turtwig, yeah. Little turtle. Look at it, grass turtle. All right, hopefully this one's easy to capture because the rest have been awful so far. Freaking Litten had the Russian Fleur Blitz. Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, repeat all works. I can't remember the last time I caught one. I must have caught one when I first unlocked it. But I'll take it. Because that was difficult to capture. That took a while. Oh, I already called Tree Call Twiggy. <laughs> Aww. No, his name is Tutel. Tutel. T U T E L. That's only to nickname Magma as well. Is he gonna let me do this? Yeah. Tutel. Tutel. Ladies. Taking a quick break from hunting some starter Pokemon, I decided to go for the first Pokemon ever made Rhydon. I found a great spot of just Rhyhorns and Rhydons. Hmm. Shiny right home. Yes. That looks so good. Put it in a repeat ball. Hopefully that'll capture. Nice. Hell yeah. I love shiny right home. There's any gem one shiny. Spikes Pokemon. With how many of them there are, I'm surprised it took that long. <laughs> There's still two minutes left on the sandwich. Call him Rocky. 
After grabbing the shiny Raihorn, I won't lie, I'm just addicted to these shiny starter Pokemon. So I grabbed my girlfriend Amy and we set up a union circle and spent about an hour and a half grinding 9000 BP so I could unlock the rest of the areas for the starter Pokemon. You know, like most couples do on a Friday night. Finally, after auto battling, taking pictures, finding ditto blocks and making terrible sandwiches, we both had enough BP. So I went back to the BB League and unlocked the rest of the areas and began to hunt the next shiny starter, Charmander. Oh, shiny! Shiny Charmander! Yes! Let's go! He looks so good! There we go! I got it! Easy shiny Charmander! That BP came through! Cyrax! Boom! Little Cyrax! I recently got told that using Ultra Balls and Quick Balls is wrong on Shinies, and this was my exact response to that comment. The only balls you don't want are blue balls. Apart from that, go nuts. Time for another Shiny Fire Starter, and this one took some time. You know what I'm proud of? Finally getting this friggin' Shiny Torchic. Oh my god, that took a while compared to everything else. Little chicken. Chick bacon. Chick bacon. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> there we go. I thought it was one dust ball. I guess because we're in the cave. Oh, shiny little chicken. That took. That was the third sandwich I was on for it. And I also did a little bit of the Charmander sandwich, so that was wild for that one. Oof. Mm. A lot of herb and just spent on this little guy. <laughs> That's the only way I could have it. Oh no. I had to do that with piss dog. <laughs> <laughs> After finding the shiny Torchic, I headed back into the polar biome to find some wild Chimchar and Scar Bunnies appearing. Is that, is that shiny? That's a shiny Chimchar. On the same Ooh. Torchic sandwich. So now I just need the Scar Bunny, what? I didn't think I'd get anything on this. What's Chimchar gonna have? There we go, critical capture on the Ultra Ball. Nice. I got Chimmy. Chimmy. Now let's go see if we can find him a shiny friend. That's another shiny Chimchar. <laughs> yeah, another one. I just need the score bunny. Yeah, I'm not gonna play, I'll take it. Another Fire Monkey. There we go. <clears throat> well, his new friend is another shiny Chimchar. Now can I find a shiny bunny? Oh, there it is. Yes. Oh, it stands out so much more than I thought it would. But why is there a regular one inside it? <laughs> They're like raving together. Move. I don't know if I'm on the right one. Why are they like conjoined twins? Do a, do a water battle. Oh, you're smart. Okay, stop it, come on. We got it. <laughs> that sounds like so much more than I thought it would because I was looking at them all for ages. Nice. Is that straight away? Oh, that's so good. Hell yeah. I'm gonna call it bugs. <laughs> It's so cool being able to collect all these starter Pokemon, and I would love to know which shiny starter Pokemon you guys think is the best. It's time to head back to Gen 1 and hunt a shiny Bulbasaur. Yo, shiny Bulbasaur. Yes, dude. Oh, that means I just need the squirrel. Oh, it is so late right now. I've got to be quiet. I've got to get hyped about shiny Bulbasaur. They also changed the Venusaur's model. So I'm excited to see that at some point. Right, what moves do you have? Because I finally have False Wipe on this thing. I don't know why I'm using an S ball. That's why I'm using this <laughs> Oh, it just captures it straight away. Nice, that means I've got time left on this sandwich to go for a different grass star for a bit as well. What was it called? Was it called Brute Root in the first film? I'm sure it's called Brute Root. I want to how I spell it. Brute Root was sick. Next up on the starter list was Poplio, and man, Poplio did not like me. First off, I started on this beach where tons of Poplio spawn, but after a bit of searching, I had a Poplio outbreak pop up. Now the Poplio, uh, now the Poplio, I'm losing, I say Poplio. 
It doesn't sound like a real word, no. No, the popliars. No, the popliars here. Poplior. It doesn't sound real. It doesn't sound real. No, the popliar. No, the popliars here are in the water, so they're a little bit harder to see. But I would get better shiny odds by hunting here. But after a while, it just wasn't happening, so I went back to the beach. There it is. Yes. Oh my god, shiny popliar. That took so long. I did an outbreak for this thing, then I had to come back to the beach. Please just capture Popplio. Please. Yes! Oh my god, that's like one of the first times the quick balls worked, I'm pretty sure. We take those. And I think I've still got a bunch of time left on sandwich. Oh, I completed a challenge as well. <laughs> I think that's how I would spell it. So when the Sun and Moon trailer first came out to show the starters for the first time, I called it Popilo. So... This is little poppy alarm. Now after I caught this next shiny starter, something weird happened, and I'm wondering if it's just a coincidence or not. Oh, there it is. Is that a shiny sobble? That is a shiny sobble. Let's go, dude. They are so hard to see, because you can't see if they're shiny until they're like side on, because the fin literally disappears. That's wild. There we go. Oh my God, it's raining right after I've caught it. It made the sky cry, dude. So yeah, after capturing James Pond, it instantly started to rain. Sobble is known for crying, so I have no idea if it does this on purpose or if I just got lucky with the timing. Is that it? There's no way. I thought that was going to be so much harder to see. I know it's that straight away. Yo, shiny Froaky. Oh, man. I can't wait to evolve this one. Yes. Oh, Quick Ball's finally working. I feel like they were not working for like the first half of this 24 hour challenge. Call it Froggy G. I'm on a roll with these shiny water starters, so why stop there? Here is a Pokemon that everybody likes. Yes, there it is. Oh my God, dude, it looks so clean. Shiny Mudkip. Oh, I love shiny Mudkip so much. Let's go. Yes. I think, is that all the Gen 3 starters caught now? Yeah, it is. I got Trico, Torchic, and now we got Mudkip. After getting a little Kip Drip here, it was time to hunt a starter Pokemon, which a lot of people tend to not like, but I think it's super underrated. Oh, there it is. Shiny Chespin. Oh, it's so cool, the red hat. I think Chespin is one of the most underrated starters. It's so cute. I think people sleep on Chespin, honestly. There we go. Just one dust ball. Easy. We are getting for a lot of shiny starters now. This is crazy. I called him Cheeto after a Quilladin I had years ago during a randomized version of Ultra Sun. Now, it's been a while since we've seen a shiny that wasn't a star Pokemon. Also, I've not had any random shinies pop up in this challenge. But that's about to change. Oh my god. Okay, well I'll take that. <laughs> Random shiny Lapras. It's funny because I've been using my shiny Lapras to get everything else. Oh my god. No way. We got Nessie, and now I need a name for this one. Boom. Bertha. I can call it Bertha. Bertha. It is a guy if you want to change the name. Gertha. <laughs> What do you want to name him? I don't know. Keith. Keith. A random shiny Lapras named Keith. What a lad. Now I'm about to have some insane luck here. First, let's find the next shiny starter, and then we'll get to see the craziest hour of this challenge so far. And remember, I still need to find a Squirtle and reclaim the shiny mini art if possible. That's it. Oh my god. That was a tough one. But here we got level 70, Jesus Christ. Nice little shiny Oshawad. Okay, don't have anything dumb, please. Retaliate. Okay, that was a lot of nothing. <laughs> there we go, nice crit capture. It's crazy that you can only capture stuff with crits in this game once you've caught them in just less than five hours. Oh, it's marked. 
Sleepy time, Mark. Sorry. <laughs> He's called Sleep. So after this next shiny starter, I had some insane luck happen. But first, let's capture the shiny Piplup. Shiny Piplup. Yes, dude. Oh, this is my second favorite starter Pokemon. There we go. Yes. Oh my god, I got a shiny Piplup. Oh, dude. This was my first soft reset for a starter. In one of my streams back in the day on Pokemon Platinum, so it's cool to have it back. There we go, Cusco the Piplup. So, on my journey to find all the shiny water starters, right now I needed to look up and find a spot for Tortodile. And the very second that I got there... There is nowhere. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just... I've only just got the pip up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. That's wild. There's no way. Oh my god, I am racing through these water starters right now. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe it showed up like that. All those like Piplups and Oshawarts and just everything else I've been doing where there's loads of them and outbreaks. And then that's just RNG sometimes. <laughs> just the one total L that happens to appear is shiny. Well, we're calling this one Croc. So that was some insane look that I just had, but watch this. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? I've still got a water sandwich on. This is just a straight up half odds crocodile. What is going on right now? <laughs> I've literally just left where the total dial is. What? I just got a chocolate choco dial. <laughs> what? Nah. There's no way. It's not funny. I've got school. There's actually no way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> how how many? I'm gonna call this Big Croc. <laughs> how many crocodiles are around this area? Because I only ever see, like, the one. But maybe I've not explored this area that much. But the one I see is normally the Stella one. Imagine if it was the Stella one, though. Actually insane. This is why I love shiny hunting. You never know when your luck is just gonna go insane. So while I've been doing this challenge, Cole has been messaging me on the side, asking me to go for a shiny Chikorita, which is a Pokemon that I absolutely despise. I didn't want to waste time on a walking salad until I found an outbreak of it. So I decided to give it a little bit of time as Cole said he would give me $10 if I did. Now the spot for the outbreak was just as bad as Chikorita. There was only a few spawns, but luckily I did find some shiny Pokemon. Is that a shiny gloom? <laughs> what? What is going on? I don't have a sandwich on right now. I've just knocked out the 60 for the Chikorita and I'm going across the bridge to reset like the spawns. And there's just a shiny gloom over here. All right then, I'll take it. <laughs> what? All right, seeing as how I'm going for Cole's favorite starter right now, I may as well name this gloom. After Michael as well. Oh, seems like it's a girl, we'll call her M. Drool for Michael Drool. <laughs> yeah, look, don't even have a sandwich on at the moment. So that would have been a half odds. Shiny Gleam, just chilling, just vibing. Yo, Shiny Execute. <laughs> I can't find a chicory to save my life, but I'm finding all these other shinies. Yo, Shiny Eggs, let's go. Easy one ball as well. So that's two random shinies that I've found, but this one did have a sandwich on because I'm trying to get the Chikorita right now for Cole. I'm gonna call it excellent. <laughs> it's so dumb, dude. After finding both of these shinies, I knew deep down that Chikorita just wasn't gonna happen. My heart just wasn't in it for a shiny that I didn't want. So I checked my map and I saw that I had a rail outbreak and decided to try my luck over there. And well, no way. <laughs> 
What? I came over because I was like, oh, the Chikorita spot's not really working. The second Rowlet spawn. Guess I'm going back for the Chikorita for a while. <laughs> oh my god. There's no way, dude. My luck has been cracked the last few hours. They've all been super fast. Like, I can't get the stuff I'm, like, actually after, but I get so many random things. We got a little Rowlet. The boy. Oh, that's a whole box. We officially did a whole box. We still got just under three hours to go. So we can see, oh my God, do I even have space? My boxes, don't look at them, they're disgusting. Call Rowlet, what I always call it, just, oh, oh. So I ended up with a shiny owl instead of some salad. Now I said earlier in the challenge that the main shiny I want to find is shiny Squirtle. And with how much of a pain it's going to be to find one, an outbreak is needed. So it's time to head into the future. This is basically fancy soft resetting, right? After some resetting and getting no luck, I decided to just run around the area and hope that a shiny Squirtle would appear. Is that shiny? I'm pretty sure it is. Hey, shiny horsey. Out of nowhere. I was looking at it, I was like, that looks more blue. Nice. All right, now we're gonna try and find this freaking squirtle. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah. So I've got an hour and 48 minutes to find this squirtle. So I'm trying to find the best place for it because I was picnic resetting, but it feels like they're just around this area. After finding the horsey, time was running out. The only way I was going to get a shiny squirtle was to find an outbreak. And after some time... Oh my god, finally. <gasps> Not an outbreak? I didn't think it was... I thought I was going to sit here for the last hour just resetting. Like, look at my screen, look at how many I've done. Mm. The little notifications on the side. Wait for, they're going to be going for like the next 10 minutes. I was about to just give up and go back for mini or something. <laughs> But I really want Squirtle. Now, maybe the universe didn't like my fancy soft resetting because after knocking out 60 Squirtles, this happened. The outbreak's gone. What do you mean? It's gone. I knocked out 62 like I always do, and it's just gone. But look, my notification is so far behind, so it probably didn't even tell me. I was so upset. That was my chance to get Shiny Squirtle, and it may not happen again during this challenge. Oh wait, no, never mind. I found another one like four minutes later. Oh my god, yes. Yes, dude. I actually got it. Oh my god. This is the, this is the one Shiny I wanted the most doing this. Oh my god. Please do not mess this up. Squirtle, you better not have anything. You better not have anything. Oh my god, dude. Like, I'm always hyped for shinies, but this? Probably because we're, we're in the last 26 minutes. Oh my god. Please do not have anything dumb. Just join the team, please. I can't wait to have shiny Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise all together. That's so sick. Yes, dude, we got it. Yes! Oh, yes. It really got to a point where when I failed the other eye break and I had to find this one. Oh, even though it's a boy, there's only one thing I can call this thing. Squilf. The shiny star that I wanted from the beginning of the challenge had been found. I now had a whole box of shiny Pokemon and a couple of extras to start a fresh one. I'd say this challenge so far has been a success and only one thing remained, shiny Miniar. With just 23 minutes left on the timer, could I pull off the impossible and get the shiny Miniar? Could I prove to myself that I am actually a good shiny hunter by reclaiming the shiny rock? No. 